Alrighty, this is Laton again. I'm going to go through and work with some of the abilities this time. Get a little bit more uh, familiar with how to set those up. Um, I'm on my dungeon world right now, so there's no mobs other than cows, pigs, chickens, and the peaceful type. Um, I'm actually ended up near the entrance of my dungeon, but that will come at a later date. I'm not going to go in there yet, so don't ask me. It's a secret. Now, what I'm going to do here, now I had done this earlier, but my Minecraft decided to lock up. Um, I looked at my character sheet, and since I'm high in archery, as an archer, I want to see what, you know, what, what abilities I have. So I go and do my build list for Archer, and I find out that I have Dodge, Sprint, Hail of Arrows, and Fire Arrows. So I want to actually bind Fire, if I can spell today, Fire Arrow to the item I am holding, which in this case is the bow. And there is thunder outside. Not a good thing for migraine sufferers. So what I'm going to do now, I've got it bound. Oh, wow. Uh, just so you're aware, these lights that you see in the ground are part of my dungeon. Uh, my dungeon is big. I think I made it a little too big. Um, it's going to take a while for me to finish it, but it's going to be super sweet once I did. Um, but back to, to the mine quest abilities. Um, so you saw that I bound my ability to my um, bow. So what's going to happen is when I shoot my arrow and I hit a creature, that skill, that ability will then be triggered. So all I have to do is go hunt pigs. I would say rabbits, but there are no rabbits in Minecraft yet. Maybe one day, but as of right now, nope. So, I'm getting a little bit of server lag here, I believe. So, maybe this would have been a lot quicker if I had just happened to spawn by a pig or a cow. Or chicken. I guess I can cheat. Oh, come on. Yep. There we go. There we go. If you didn't know that, you can hatch your chickens. Now. Let us do this. Stand still. I said stand still, chicken. There it is. Chicken caught on fire. Film at 11. <coughs> Pardon me. Now, let's see what else we can bind to this thing. I had also the hail of arrows and that one if I remember correctly will shoot ten bunch a bunch of uh, ten arrows or so at the target whoops so if I do a spell comp eh, craft bouquet is nice it's what I'm running but I'm still back on 617 for now I don't need the new stuff yet. So let's look at what Hail of Arrows requires. Okay, I need 10 arrows and a redstone. I've got those. So let us go and hatch another chicken. Hatch, chicken, hatch. There we go. 
Chicken is hatch. Now, let's see what happens here. I didn't see a hail of arrows. Stand still. It is mocking me. Oh, there were a bunch of arrows there. Let me see here. Two. I don't remember. I said unbind. I don't remember if I had anything. Nope. Let's try it with this one. Two, three. See if I can get my chicken match. Yep. Get away from me. There. That is what I was looking for. Did you see that? That was hail of arrows. Let's see if we can get it to happen again. Without it hitting me. Look at that. Look at all the arrows that popped down out of the sky. That was pretty slick, I say. Man, I think I'm going to fireball this chicken. Kind of funny. You fry the chicken with an egg. Eh. Alrighty, so those are two of those skills. Now, another item was, uh, I believe, enable ability. Um, I don't know if it comes enabled or not, but let's look and see if dodge, not enough mana. Exactly what that means. Let's unbind this and we'll try the trap. Now, if I remember correctly, I need to make a shovel and I need some dirt. So, yes, six dirt and a wood spade. Now, let me see what I have. I've got arrows, and arrows, and arrows. So I guess I need to do a quick little bit of forestry. our crafting table okay crafting table was made now let's make some wood sticks I'll make just that many of them go make some wood shovels. Now I'm making so many of them simply because I believe you use up one shovel per spell. So if I want to cast six traps I need to have six shovels. And if I want to have uh, twelve so forth and so on and I'll also need to have <clears throat> um, enough of the dirt as well, since dirt is six per spell, 
you know, that means I'm going to need 36 pieces of dirt for 6 traps. Now, trap, I'm not sure if you've, if I've shown it in the previous episode or not, but let me bind trap to it. Wrap. Oh, I can't do it. Sorry. Alrighty. So I bind trap to it. Now, what happens is here comes Piggy. I shoot Piggy. And as I hit Piggy with the arrow, a two by two by two cube of dirt goes bye bye. Oh. Trap is a war mage? And there we go. Piggy went bye-bye. I thought trap. Let me see. Uh, bill list archer. Ah, trap is my war mage skill. Okay, that makes more sense then. See, we have this little little sheep here. Bad sheep. Yes, I said bad sheep. He was jumping. Oh, no. I'm out of dirt. See, this is why you need to come out prepared. You need to make sure that you have all the items you need. And because you never know what you're going to need out in the wild. So. And see, I shot it twice and it was cast twice. And I lost my two shovels. So, we will dig out some more dirt. Ooh, this is actually a pretty little location. And we will go and make another trap for that sheep. There's the sheep. It's all nasty looking. I need it to go in just a little bit. There we go. Oh, nope, see? But he left me some more. You gotta do it to where when the, they, they've gotta be on somewhat level ground. If they're not on level ground, the trap does not really work other than just ticking somebody off. So like this pig. The pig is up on the ground. Now it's down flat. I shoot. Oh, look. Piggy fell in my trap. Do the same with the chicken. Missed the chicken. Chicken. Slow down. Missed the chicken again. But, as you can see, Piggy is here. Now we're going to fry Piggy. Barbecue, anybody? <laughs> so that's the uh, the quick rundown on the abilities and how to find your abilities and how to bind them. Um, the next episode is going to go into more of the questing. Um, I'm going to try and get a buddy on and do a quest with him. It will be the... Uh, Probably the, the primary quest, unless I get myself up and do the, um, dungeon I'm working on, which I really need to do, because I want it done, but we will, we will see. So, I hope you enjoy it, and I hope this convinces more and more people to go out and get MindQuest. It is a wonderful, wonderful app plug-in for Bucket. It's one that I obviously highly recommend. And we'll see you on the next episode.